a little bit. So this is this is a workflow around offboarding a user. So what what it says is when an a user's org unit membership changes. So what we're looking for here is if someone's OU went from anything sales to offboarding. Um, so you could have multiple OUs to trigger this. So what we see people do is you could have an offboarding dash um, sales, offboarding dash executive, offboarding dash intern. And based on which OU you put them in, we could then take these actions. You could also add if statements from your HR system to say if the or OU changes and the org unit uh, and the 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 um, department is sales, then take these actions. So um, so 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 let's go through what these actions are. So you could remove them from a particular team in Dropbox. Um, remove them from all the groups, remove them from shared calendars in G Suite, transfer all the files to the admin, or you could actually make this their, their manager if you wanted. Um, so let's, let's actually go to this one. So what we're going to do here, I'm going to show you how you can use dynamic fields where you say transfer ownership of all files for the user being offboarded. And you can use dynamic fields to say, I want to give it to that, the, the, the G Suite user from the event, that's what this means, I'm gonna give it to their manager. So I can enter their manager here. I wanna delete two step codes, revoke all the apps, um, reset the user in Zendesk, sign them out, so kill the cookies, um, move them to the completed offboarding or OU, suspend it, and then start to remove the, the licenses, right? So this would be an example where there's a license for this user for enterprise mobility um, in, uh, and, and the E5 SKU for, for Office 365. Maybe you're using that for, uh, for Office 3, like Office, actual Office licenses. So you could remove that. Um, let's see, we could remove Azure, Azure Active Directory, the license there. You could disable the user in 365. Um, and then let's say create a ticket that says, hey, here's this ticket that we created that this particular, uh, uh, work, this, this user has been uh, offboarded and it's complete. And here are the results of this. So I've been able to, um, you know, this particular user has, has been off board and, and it's some more details of that. Um, and then same thing with Slack and then deactivate the user in Salesforce. So you, you get the idea. Of course, you could add whatever you want here. I mean, you could add the one I always like to show because for me, it's, it's a big problem is uh, delete all the calendar events and I can delete all the calendar events of the user and I wanna delete all the future events. So now this particular user, they're all their calendar events will get deleted. So it, again, the idea here is when we talk about the granularity and the sophistication, the key was to put the power and the control in your hands. Th this is where the investment has been. I hope you see that. I, I hope you see the complexity, which, what I've heard from, from you, our customer, is I want that complexity. I want that control. I don't want what you gave me in 2013, which was this brute force. I have no, no choice on the configuration. I have no granularity to my triggers. I want, I want the control. And that's what you have now. That's what you have. You have that with our alerts, with which which essentially serve as the when statements or the triggers, and you have that with the then statements, with the granularity, with the hundreds of actions that you can take, plus the dynamic fields where you can target a user that was created in a previous step, a user's manual, a user's manager. Um, you can target uh, license types, any license type in any of the SaaS applications that we're using. So, so this was a really. Th th uh, this is important. This this is all, um, especially this functionality, the dynamic fields and the and the advanced conditioning around alerting. This is all from you know been delivered in the last couple of weeks. So um, hopefully hopefully you see the value.